track reviews. Uh, okay. All right. Kanye, the uh, weird anti-Semitic guy who was at one time a rapper, who after his weird multi-right-wing platform idiot tour uh, has been trying to soft launch, you know, a return to music. Hey, look at me. I'm like performing with Travis Scott. Oh, hey, look at me. I'm going to do a collab album with uh, Ty Dolla Sign, but the uh, alleged release date for that came and went. Hey, look at me. I made a weird outside production studio in, in the desert in Saudi Arabia. Dude, who cares? Nothing good is getting produced in that tent. There was like a weird leak, a tick talk going around of like somebody allegedly filming Kanye like doing some edits and, and stuff on a track from the tent and there were some lyrics that uh, frankly in that clip sounded just stupid beyond words and I didn't really jump on it or say anything about it because I was like no way this can't be real this can't actually be real like that like maybe my faith in humanity is too high well it seems like whatever that snippet was whatever that track was that he was working on is is now beginning to see the light of day. It is, I guess, called Vultures and has been played uh, live on Chicago's Power 92. So we essentially have a radio recording with a lot of drops, but it is still, you know, uh, the core of the song for the most part. Ty Dolla Sign is in the mix. That makes sense. Lil Dirk is on the track as well, really making this a whole Chicago affair. Let's give it a spin. Let's see what it's got. Kanye, Vultures. All right, I'm done. I'm done. This is... This is trash. This is trash. This is garbage. This is like, what, what the hell are we doing here? The only good thing about the entire track are the kind of eerie synthesizers and the Dirk verse. He sounds alive. He sounds vibrant. He sounds engaged on the track. I mean, it's a kind of average appearance from him overall, but um, it's certainly better than everything else surrounding it. I mean, if there's anything good about this track, it's not the sleepy ass intro uh, at the start of this cut. It's not Ty Dolla Sign's vocal mix uh, sounding ass on the very back end of the track. He sounds like he's singing into a goddamn, you know, uh, gamer headset microphone. Meanwhile, Kanye himself sounds more asleep than anybody on the song, which I guess is part and parcel with uh, a lot of the verses that have been laid into his uh, most recent projects sounding thrown together, unfinished, and the flop to bop ratio as far as like the bars on this verse, terrible. terrible. One about how uh, he can't remember who he effed last night because he's got Alzheimer's. Another about um, how, you know, it's like not Columbine, but they they came in with the trenches. Tacky, ugly, stupid. Uh, and then finally, of course, because he, he can't shut up about this issue because he is a clown at this point. Uh, how can I be like anti-Semitic? Uh, I, I had sex with a Jewish bitch. You gotta be kidding me. Yeah, you gotta be kidding me. I mean, I know that there have been a lot of people in the Kanye camp who are like still holding out hope that like he's going to turn a leaf or he's going to start putting out better music or uh, for whatever reason, they seem to think that like with, with Kanye right now, there's nothing wrong and everything's like all hunky dory. Everything's fine. It's all good. Yeah. I'm just not really at that level of delusion. I'm sorry because yeah, since Kanye's weird little right wing turn, his uh, nose dive, uh, there has been a lot of discussion of me around the internet, in my subreddit, in my comments. It's like, oh, Anthony's not going to give Kanye a fair shake now. Oh, he's, he's just virtue signaling. Kanye is still very clearly not in an okay place, and it's driving him to make trash and have nothing to write about of substance. I don't know. Keep defending him at this point if you want. You're, you're the one who's going to have to listen to this crap more than one time. If you truly, honestly feel the way that you actually feel, uh, that's you putting yourself through hell, honestly. Overall, this sucks. Hopefully this is all we hear of this track, but considering how stupid it is and where Kanye is at currently, uh, no doubt we'll hear a finished version on some project at some point, which will maybe just be like a slightly better produced version of 
the same caca. I'm going to leave it there. Anthony Fantano over here next to my head. Another video you could check out. Hit that up or the link to subscribe to the channel. Um, music, vultures, uh, forever. <laughs>